Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our ignition timing tables and programming in our UpRev flash tuning software. So when we want to program our ignition timing, we're going to jump into our main spark timing table. We're going to find that the table is completely different than any other ignition timing table you've probably worked with before. We're going to find that the load input to the table is based around the base fuel schedule. Now we talked about how that works and the idea of moving our K multiplier around that's going to affect our base fuel schedule. We'll find that same principle is going to be applying to our ignition timing tables for the rescale. Now the values in the table are also going to be a little bit different than what we're used to working with. They're going to be in units of burn rate. They're going to actually be in a, a value of time. And I'm going to be going over what that means and how we can program it and what we need to look for by working with this burn rate value. Now, depending on what ROM type we're using, if we're using something from, say, a 350Z or a G37, we're going to find we have completely different ignition timing tables to work with. On the newer ROM types, there are a lot more things that we have to program and be aware of. I'm going to be showing you the two different ROM types and what you can expect when you program them. Now, without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check all this out. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our ignition timing programming in our UpRev flash tuning software. The very first thing we're going to do is jump into edit tune file, open up a ROM file so we can take a look at the ignition tables that we're going to be working with. So the first thing I'll grab here is a 3WN0A. This is the G37 example we've downloaded this particular file for that vehicle that we took a look at in our first training video. We'll go here to open, and now we find that our ROM file has been opened. Now in addition to this file, we're going to open up an older ROM file that's going to be from a 350Z, just so we can see the differences between a newer ROM file and an older one. The ignition timing tables are completely different, and we need to understand the differences and what we are going to be doing programming an older ROM file or a newer one. So I'm going to jump here into Edit Tune File. I'm going to simply go to my directory here under my uprev, and I have a 350Z folder that I've created in here. If I double click on it, I find that I've downloaded a CD405.Osiris ROM file. Now this CD405 is going to be associated with a 2003 manual transmission 350Z. I knew this particular code or the, the strand of letters and numbers here because I went to the UpRev website here under support and I moved into under ROM support, UpRev ROM list. If I click this, give it a second, we'll find we have a master ROM list available and we can see here if we kind of pan down our list, we find that the make is Nissan Model 350Z, year 2003, the engine, manual transmission, and we find the master ROM as well as an updated ROM or enhanced ROM that can be found from the UpRev database. So we can see, looking right below it, I just simply chose this one, a CD405. There's going to be no rhyme or reason why I chose this one. I just went down the list and I wanted to select a manual transmission version of this particular ROM file so we could take a look. So, I simply took this code here, CD405, 